UW360 is proudly supported by Pacific Office Automation, Copy, Print, Workflow, and IT. Problem Solved. Everyone knows the Burke Museum of Natural History and Culture. Since young naturalists began collecting artifacts in 1885, the Burke has been a place for people to learn about nature, geology, and culture. They had no idea that a hundred years later those objects would be very valuable for their DNA. They had no idea. DNA had, no one knew about DNA. We preserve these objects for the purpose of them being used by researchers, by the general public, so that people appreciate the world and the habitat that we live in. The Burke wants to continue to make these artifacts available. And this one here is... But according to Executive Director Julie Stein, that has become increasingly difficult because their facility, built in 1962, is now showing its age. The lack of air conditioning is um, unacceptable for the objects. The swing in humidity is, causes them to shrink and swell. The baskets that we have absorb the moisture so fast they actually creak and pop. And the amount of space is gone. I don't know if you've walked down the halls, but all of the hallways are right up to the point where the fire marshal has told us, don't go further than this. Fortunately, the Burke is in the middle of building a brand new, 70% larger home for their artifacts. So that they can better expand and take care of their collections. And with a new entrance facing 15th Avenue, the new Burke will be more available to the public than ever. Literally on 15th Avenue, yes. with the door facing University District. So this is where we'll have floor-to-ceiling glass that goes the full width of our lower lobby, uh, displaying whales, displaying uh, mammoth skeletons. And then one of the key design ideas of the internal building is just to make sure we can expose as much of the collections, as much of the research that happens currently behind the scenes, behind walls that you can't see through to the public. So nearly every collection space, every lab is viewable. Um, and we've really integrated the experience so that the galleries and the lab and the collection spaces are right next to each other. They're not separate experiences. You get to see one while you see the other and you get to see the interplay between those two spaces. Construction on the new Burke is expected to end in 2018, but the hardest part of the project may be yet to come. Moving its entire collection of over 16 million items to the new building is going to take about a year. If all goes as planned with the construction and moving the collection, a newer, larger, more available Burke is expected to open its doors in 2019. The building should echo the mission. The mission is to take care of the objects, but make them available to people so that they can pull the information, pull the stories out of those objects. Mm -hmm.